Hi Scorpio, welcome to your December monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. All right, let's see your current energy for December. For Scorpio, my water signs. This one, ooh, I love this, Nine of Pentacles. One of the best cards in the deck. You're feeling really independent. Your coins are rolling in. And I feel like if you're starting your own business, things are going really well. Okay, one more card. And the King of Swords. I love this. So you could be working with a King of Air. An air sign because I feel like you're together in this. You're facing each other, feeling the vibe. <laughs> so that's a really good start. King of Swords is about having that higher perspective, that mountaintop perspective. Also overlooking your community. It can be a little bit serious, but let's keep going. Past our outside influences. Knight of Pentacles. Love this. You are grounding down, earthing there, taking off your shoes. And this connection to the earth, this connection to nature, is helping bring in those coins. Grounding down the foundation, building up the vision. And the moon. You also had a dark night at the soul, I'm feeling. You had to face your shadow side and really go within and see what the vision was, how to move forward as well. Okay, let's see your blocks and lessons for December. Blocks and lessons for Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, the Eight of Swords. You are feeling that you were in this prison of despair. Ooh. But it actually was Something, it was real, but it was also exaggerated. That's the word. It was exaggerated by your own mental swords. But now that you're becoming the page of pentacles and you're moving more into this earth energy, I love it because it's the nine to the page and then to the ninth. So you're getting away from this air energy, moving into this grounded earth energy, and that is going to be really helpful and healing for you as well as bringing in more coins. All right, your person or situation sees you as being more balanced. There's justice coming your way as well. Oh, the fire is so beautiful right now. Oh, wow, and the Ace of Wands comes up with the Knight of Cups. So your person has passion for you. They have romance for you. And it feels really good. I say embrace it. This isn't a love reading for you. It's coming in, in December, full on <laughs> feeling. So that's really positive. Could also be finding balance within this connection, within this new fiery cycle, the Ace of Wands. I love that beside the Justice card. Okay, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Ooh, here we go. Queen of Pentacles, wow. How amazing is this combo, the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles? And you're looking at this romantic connection with very relaxed vibes. You're looking at it in a really chill, mature, grounded way. You could also have more Pentacles than this younger water sign as all these cards fly out. So that could be creating a little bit of drums because the cards went flying and I feel like when that happens, there's a lot of chaos going on. Not a lot of chaos, just maybe a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of friction, I'm feeling, between your coins and their coins. Okay, King of Pentacles. All right, that is the message from the universe. So even though they don't have a lot of coins now, there is a clarification that they will at some point be the king of pentacles because it's beside the queen, which I love that, together. It's a power couple. Ooh, 
power couple vibes happening. Lots of coins rolling in. Wow, page, the knight, the queen, and the king. Don't see that very often. All right, let's clarify one more card for Scorpio. This one. Ooh, ten of pentacles. How many pentacles can you get in a reading? All of them, apparently, because this is full abundance. It's really connecting and bringing in together this power couple here. So it is a beautiful connection. Something to look forward to if it hasn't happened already in your life. That is definitely coming. The abundance with love, the abundance with coins. It's so good. Okay, let's clarify this justice with the Ace of Wands. What's going on with the Justice and the Ace of Wands for Scorpio for December? This one. Ace of Pentacles! Yes! So that's another Ace to clarify. And again with the coins. So it's all moving in the right direction for you. If you didn't have a lot of money in the past, oh wow, and then the Justice flies out too again to clarify that. That balance and justice is coming for you. So beautiful. Balance. Karma's on your side. So good. And this one flies out. Six of Cups. So pleasure. Pleasure from the past. Connecting with someone from your past and remembering how much joy that this connection brought to you. Love this card in this deck. It's so cute. Let's try to zoom in on that. Here we go. That's really nice above the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. So going back to the the pleasure and the joy of your childhood. Also that first romance, that first love feeling. How excited and heart opening that was. That's something really nice to connect with. All right, now I'm feeling an oracle card for you. This is really positive reading. Maybe the best reading of the month. One of them anyway. All right, oracle cards. Wrap it up. Woo! Too many. <laughs> okay, this one. Opening heart, yes. Number 11, deep connections, water blessings. Wow, this goes so perfectly with the water, with them playing in the water here. I love that. Deep connections from someone from the past. And then also spending time near water, near the ocean. Also that number 11 is such a powerful number if that shows up for you. Just know that's a reminder to keep your heart open, that you're on the right path if you see 11-11. I see that all the time. It's such a nice reminder for me that I'm connected and that I'm in my purpose. Okay, let's do Cosmic Dancer for Scorpio. For the end of this year, December, wow. Retreat and Recharge, number four. Yeah, I feel like the four has to do with your heart chakra. So take the time to heal your heart and also take the time to retreat during this holiday, I'm feeling, <laughs> to recharge those batteries and to know that you are on this full pentacle cycle, new cycle that's gonna be so abundant. You might be really busy, so it's a good time to recharge right now for the new year, because it's gonna be really epic for you. All right, Scorpio, I hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the rest of December. Happy holidays to you. Hope to see you for the mid-monthlies and then into the new year. Bye for now.